All right, here we are on a beautiful Las Vegas day. Late morning, a little bit warm. I'll walk around and tell you about a really sweet 1934 Ford two-door sedan. Very nicely done, nice Jenny body. Gonna cruise around and cover it for you here. We know the history on this one pretty well. I believe the, thir the current owner is the third or fourth owner. Uh, original owner was out of Montana, had a place in Arizona, would drive it between here and there. And then in the uh, 50s, it stayed in Arizona, and then it stayed over here on the west. Anyway, very nice paint fit and finish on it. Cordova tan. It's been dropped, nicely dropped with a super bell axle up front here. Updated juice brakes, that type of thing. Definitely kind of around the town car. It's just been tidied up. This gentleman purchased it as a project. We've got pictures of this in bare metal. It is all original steel. We'll get you inside here in just a minute. The roof's not been filled or anything like that. This is actually the perfect kind of candidate to lift up, uh, set it on a new chassis with a new powertrain. Underneath the hood here is a 41 flathead V8. They uh, brought out of another hot rod they had here. It has uh, the original gearbox, matching number gearbox in it. It's been updated with 3941 gears and a 41 shifter. Does not have a wiper on it. Everything functions like it would factory wise. Has a factory uh, tilt out windshield, working cowl vent. Has OTB guide uh, lamps on it, reproduction lamps, model, model 682s. Black is nice, the Cordoba tan's nice on it. It's been dropped down to earth quite a bit. Out in the back, basically non-modified factory style suspension, uh, super bell dropped axle. Uh, we get to the undercarriage, we cover quite a bit more for you there. The cow lamps here are actually working functional front turn signals for it. Bright works nice. Has Kelsey Hayes factory style wheels on it. We get into the tire size and we go walking around here. We'll get it up on the lift for you and we'll do a little bird's eye view walk around here. Stock style interior. Garnish moldings, that type of thing, faux woodwork. LeBaron Bonnie style upholstery in it. So it's got the factory style jump seats on it that lift forward here. We actually have pictures of the floor pans uh, uh, prior to this. Give you a feel there. Fun car. We don't have a lot of history on the flathead V8 other than uh, it's a good running. Appears to be good running, that type of thing. Factory rear differential in it, so it's kind of a out around town car. It has a stock gear ratio in it. LED taillights in the rear. It's got that great hot rod look. Again, the perfect car to. Uh, lift it up and set it on a chassis with an upgraded powertrain and you don't have any uh, body work or paint to do. 34's of suicide doors here on the two door sedan. All stock in its presentation of course other than the modifications uh, that we talked about as we cruised around here. No replacement metal in it that we can see. Again, original pans. It's really hard to find them solid like this. Got gauges down here. It's been updated to a 12 volt system with a one wire GM alternator. Optima battery mounted underneath. Early V8 pedals in it uh, for the hydraulic brakes or juice brakes. We're going to fire it up here for you. It has a SoCal style switch here. 
Over the gauges for you the stuff. This header panel is the only piece of reproduction uh, component on it, which is a composite or fiberglass header panel up here for the visors. Not sure it makes any difference. 5,890 miles at the time of inspection. He drives it all over Las Vegas here, and there's no overheat issues with it, by the way. Kind of a good, like I said, around town car. Factory rear differential. I want to show you these windows here on the driver's side while I'm at it. It has the uh, cigar style windows on it, so nothing's really been changed. If you roll it a little bit farther, you'll see how they come back so somebody can blow their cigar smoke out the window or ashes. And then it comes back and it goes down. Windows roll up and down nice. Same thing on the driver's side. There you go. All right, we get you driver's side engine compartment here. Beautiful firewall, the finish follows all the way through. All factory suspension wise, just lowered the factory vent is right there in the chassis. It's a 1941 flathead V8. Really not a lot of upgrades on it. It was uh, donated from another hot rod they had here, so they have a little bit of history on it. Runs good. Electric cooling fan, it has a manual turn on switch on the dash, but it also has, and I probably covered that already, because uh, I'm doing this before I do the walk around. Uh, it also has an uh, automatic temperature switch where it comes on by itself. Has a Holley 94 carburetor, OEM style intake. Updated gauges here, 12 volt system. GM1 wire, so it's been converted to 12 volts and has a uh, Optima battery in it. These are early reproduction heads. At one time it had a uh, external oil filter assembly on it, so they chipped off here to make it fit. But uh, if you want to put different put a dif different set of heads on, you could easily do that. Runs good, no overheat issues. Over here on the passenger side, we covered pretty much from the driver's side, but uh, love the spun aluminum air filter here on the Holley 94. Again, early style reproduction aluminum cylinder heads. Starter solenoids is down here, again converted to 12 volt. We'll do a little exterior bird's eye view around. This does have a really nice body on it. We'll get to the undercarriage here in just a minute. Has uh, Firestone 550-16s up front. Coker reproduction tires. Factory style vulcanized running boards. In Firestone Deluxe Champions. I'm not seeing the size. I'll get around to the other side. I know I saw it. I believe these are Kelsey Hayes wheels. 716s in the rear. The 550s up front. All right, we'll get you the undercarriage here. Up front here has been dropped a little bit with a Super Bell dropped axle. Chrome multi-leaf spring, pretty much stock format. 
She just brought down to earth a little bit. Really nice rock solid style body. Bottom side of the 41 flathead V8. Front fenders are beautiful. Floor pans are our original. We'll have a photo of that at Spud's Garage where they were doing the, uh, during the restoration periods of the car. Uh, all original floor pans. Uh, we'll have pictures of the interior of the car with nothing in it, that kind of thing. So Optima, uh, updated Optima battery in here, new master. Factory rear differential, factory exhaust, runs all the way down the side here. Rear fenders are, you cannot get these reproduction and they're hard to get to find NOS ones. They've had some repairs on them over the years, but that's not unusual. Could be a new rear body panel on the back there. See the bottom side of this fender's had a repair at the tail. A little bit of hammering on them, but they weren't rusty. Was it a rusty car? Shocks on the back. Lowered a little bit with some uh, just some basic leaf modifications to get it right. So they've updated the shocks on it. All new brake lines. Factory steer, again, shocks on the front. I don't think I mentioned that when I was up here. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. Make sure you go to Spud's Garage.